Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm Dr. Crystal Lau, the founder of Bridges in Health, and here are my five lifestyle tweaks that will help support your journey towards better well-being. I view well-being as an important quality of life indicator for how we live day to day, and that means differently for everyone. Good health is also just one part of good well-being, and that's why the five lifestyle tweaks that I'll be recommending will fit people from different backgrounds at different stages of life. The first lifestyle tweak is to change the mindset from balancing things to juggling things. I make this distinction because juggling, for me, has worked out a lot better in terms of giving me more sense of control and feeling less guilty when I choose to prioritize one thing over the other, as opposed to balancing where even when I put a heavier priority down, there is still a struggle to balance because one side of the scale will never be the same as the other because our priorities and tasks will always differ in weight. This is especially important for me as a mom of two because juggling will allow me to do more or less and it doesn't matter how heavy one priority is or the other. I am able to juggle and adjust according to things. The second is to expand your view on what it means to have a well-being team. Instead of just you and your health provider, which could be your doctor or a nurse practitioner, include coaches. These could be health coaches, life coaches, or even a business coach if that's what you need towards reaching a well-being goal. You could also include other people in your team, such as allied health providers. These could be nutritionists, physical therapists, occupational therapists. Books could also be part of your well-being team, ensuring that you read something to do with self-care or something to elevate yourself from time to time. And the most important thing is you do not have to engage all of these support systems at one go because it does cost money. You can do it one at a time when you really need them, but be aware that you have a team who can help you towards better well-being. The third lifestyle tweak that I really love is to find and engage in your purpose. This to me is very important because it's what drives you day to day when you wake up and do something, when you're happy to do something. Having a sense of purpose is important for all of us, regardless of which life stage that we're in. Some people find purpose in religion or in faiths. Some people find purpose in just volunteering as well. And I highly recommend that no matter your economic status, there's always an avenue for you to engage in your purpose. And sometimes it just takes a little while to find that. And that's okay. Sometimes the journey itself in finding your purpose can contribute to your well-being. The fourth lifestyle tweak is a practical one. It's to thrive within your means. You can achieve the well-being goal that you would like based on your current socioeconomic status, how much you can afford and where you are living. We don't all have the same access to how we can improve our well-being, but we can do our best with what we've got. And I know it can be difficult for us to just live and thrive within our means because of how much social media access we have today and what digital media gives us. There's so much out there trying to convince us that we need the next best thing to live better and to feel better when sometimes all we need is in front of us. So it's helpful that from time to time we check in on what we really need and to really assess what we can and cannot afford based on where we are and where we're living at that moment. The last and I think most important lifestyle tweak that will help you towards better well-being is to accept that change is the only constant that we have in our life. Allow yourself to keep evolving. Your priorities, your wants and needs will change depending on the life experience that you have had, the life experiences that you are going through now, and as you enter different life stages. So allow yourself to change how you approach your well-being when things change for you, when you feel differently, and allow yourself to change health providers this can also mean engaging with different businesses, changing your taste, changing what you like and how you do things. Allow yourself to evolve and your well-being will evolve with you. And there you have it, a recap of my five lifestyle tweaks that will help support your journey towards better well-being. First is to stop trying to balance things, juggle things instead. Number two is create a well-being team. Number three is to find and engage in your purpose. Number four is to thrive within your means. And last, most importantly, is to keep evolving and allow yourself to change.